Well, I'm Daniel Meadows and I was a speaker here at Northern Eye this year. It's my favourite festival, I have to say. I came two years ago as a punter and really enjoyed it. I like the way uh, the speakers and members of the audience mix and, and there's always lots of chat and um, out of auditorium fun and uh, shenanigans. And um, a really great lot of speakers this year. I, I really, really enjoyed uh, the company of, of um, Jane Hilton and Gillian Edelstein, both people whose work I knew, but I didn't really know them as people. And you come away to Colwyn Bay and you're looked after by Paul and the gang. And, uh, and, and you know, it's, a, it's just a great away festival and uh, we've had a really lovely time. What a great opportunity to be here. Number one, to be in Colwyn Bay. What a great excuse to come to this beautiful part of Wales. And number two, thank you to Paul, who's done an amazing job to get a group of really fascinating, extraordinary photographers together, especially in the documentary field that is sometimes overlooked. Um, and to be amongst peers that have extraordinary work, such as Gillian's. On the left, a, a great project that really should be put into an archive and for everybody to know about it in a hundred years' time. Extraordinary stuff and can't thank you enough for introducing me to everybody that's been here and shown their work and spoken about it with such passion. I'd never been to the Northern Eye Festival before and uh, what an extraordinary experience it's been. Um, the amount of talent, the selection of speakers and presenters a, uh, have been utterly inspiring. Um, Jane Hilton's presentation, Daniel Meadows, um, Hark, um, the Pecha Kucha, which was uh, 10 people, I think, speaking for about a few minutes presenting about 20 images each. The load of talent and ingenuity and innovative and inspirational work has been sublime. And I would highly recommend anybody making the journey to Colwyn Bay to support and to be part of this extraordinary festival. I'm Jack Lowe, uh, I'm a photographer and feel very lucky to have spoken here two years ago and exhibited as well. And the thing that's instantly hit me about th this event is how special it is, how friendly and warm and accessible in so many ways. And it needs supporting more widely in my view. Uh, more people need to know about it and it's vital to keep this event going because it reminds us why we do the things we do and quite frankly I can't wait to come out and hang out on another weekend in two years time. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, been, it's been a brilliant weekend, pretty intense. Um, so many different styles of work, so many different people, but it, it really kind of gives you, um, especially somebody quite young getting into this, um, brilliant insight into kind of all the different approaches and, and different ways of working and then um, it's been a brilliant opportunity as well for me um, to share some of my own work in progress as well so yeah brilliant weekend yeah well, I'm Rob I'm a documentary photographer from North Wales it's my second visit uh, to Northern Eye Festival it's a really special occasion we're really lucky to have the uh, the event on our doorstep Paul the organisers worked so hard in bringing a really great eclectic mix of speakers and photographers together. And the really good thing about this event is it's quite a community, family type atmosphere. We find that people who present are really approachable, people we can speak to, exchange ideas, learn um, and, and be inspired. And that's the best thing. I came here for some photographic inspiration and I'm going to be walking out buzzing basically. Another Northern Eye Festival. This is my third, and um, I really do think um, it's it's known as the uh, friendliest photography festival in the world, and it absolutely is. It's really great. 
whatever sort of photography you're into. Um, however, however photography, whatever it means to you, it is definitely worth a weekend of your time. Um, so I'm at the Northern Eye this year. Uh, this is my third year. Uh, I found out about it really by attending the Eye Festival in Aberystwyth some years ago. And I came up on the first occasion, um, actually I made it into a holiday. Uh, I stayed on the Isle of Anglesey and came over each day. And they call it one of the uh, most sort of friendly festivals, and it truly is. Uh, you're going to rub shoulders with some great photographers. You're going to make some interesting connections. You'll hear some fantastic conversations. You're going to hear people talk, uh, and you know they're the rock stars, I would say, of photography in in Britain. Uh, very, very different styles, very different types of photography, uh, and that's part of the beauty of it. Um, but also, it's also what you, you rub shoulders with people. You go for a curry. You have a drink at lunchtime, uh, coffee, uh, and it's that and the little conversations that add hugely. And it's a great venue, and the whole town is actually part of the photography festival. As you walk around, you see uh, photographs in shop windows and in different venues. And that's all down to curator Paul, the way that he brings it all together, and his team, of course. Um, but it's, it's very cleverly put together, and that's why I keep returning. And I'm already looking, for looking forward to two years' time, to be honest.